Hey, we're back in there playing some more Madden 24 online head to head. Today we are back, and today we have more news to cover. We finally have our second head coach firing of the year, so let's get talking about it. First things first, though, we have to talk about the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans have added former Philadelphia Eagles defensive end Derek Barnett to help out with their defensive line. So I think that's a good pickup for the Texans to improve their defense. And then our second piece of news before we get into the head coaching firing comes from the Las Vegas Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders have decided to release corner, former Pro Bowl corner, Marcus Peters, because he's shown minimal effort the past couple of games in Vegas. Uh, not really playing like he wants to be there, so they decided to let him go, and that's that. So now the main uh, point of this video, the second head coaching firing. Um, actually comes right here from the Carolina Panthers. So that's who we're going to be playing with today. The Carolina Panthers have decided to uh, fire head coach Frank Reich. Ooh, fucking Ravens user. Um, yeah, so another one and done coach in Carolina. Or not one and done, but, you know, another head coach that doesn't work out in Carolina. Last year, they had the Matt NFL Rule for a little bit, and then to North Carolina they Bank of fired him and had Steve Wilk in a now this year they hired Frank Reich to try and turn things around. They uh, couldn't do that because they're clearly like one in, they one in nine, one in ten, some shit like that. They've only won one game. They beat the Texans. So I thought we could play Frank Reich's last game as a Carolina coach in the Carolina Panthers. Uh, I don't know where Carolina goes from here now. To be honest with you. They need someone to help develop Bryce Young properly because clearly he's not getting developed at all or properly. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. That one, a first down pickup of My record going into this game is 20 and 28. Can you stop running the same fucking play? Cover six, show two. No way, bruh. Bro, like, come on! Touchdown, Baltimore! Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives... Like, what the fuck is happening right now? We're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. All right, cool, I guess. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Let's go! Ready? Uh. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Miles. 
First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Close PA cross. That's a love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's like able to get play. to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, the guy is quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Wow. Wow. First quarter. On first and ten, it's Sanders. They'll get this down to the 38. I couldn't cut properly. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged. Double cross. Their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Uh, let me try. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get yeah, your feet moving, yeah. get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Bro. Ah, uh, why is Bryce? <laughs> Escape. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now Young. Good shit, Hayden. Good shit, Hayden. HB punch. Let's go. Lock in. They go back to the ground with Sanders. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and uh, seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate bench? there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper place. Think I can hit Thielen or Chark? Uh. Second down, Young. Buying time to his left. Over the middle complete. It's Sanders. Just throw it up to him. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Well, offensively, that's the middle high low. You want. you want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. I just flipped the play. Is that what I did? I'll call a timeout. Now with the play clock down to two, we're gonna I don't know what I did. <laughs> so as they talk it over, we step aside. I don't know what I did there. I did something that I didn't mean to do. I didn't want to run that play, so. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Uh oh, it was flip play. Okay. Sorry. I didn't. I didn't want to flip it. There's nothing open, man. Take a field goal. I was thinking about taking off with Bryce. And the first play will be a field goal try. This a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Pinier. 7-3. And they are on the board, but still trailing in 7 It's not what I wanted, but... So both teams come away with points on their opening drives, and they still trail. They answer the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown Bro. go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Cover one, Robert Show two. The Raven offense set up the line for this next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time nope. out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after getting up six the last Ah, time. so he doesn't like when I play man. Cover nine show two. Motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side. Oh, good shit. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Troy Hill picks it. And the will be stopped. Right. Right. Well, that's a drive. HB counter right week. There. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to hands of the wrong team. Watch this. On the counter now, ah. Sanders. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. As usual, the Dagger. Of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Look how short Bryce is, bro. Here is Young. 
Flush to his right. Dog, what the fuck? Make a play on the fucking football. That was my fault. I mean, I guess. I know he's right handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get. I didn't think DJ Chark was just not going to try to get that ball, but. Even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, I thought that actually had a shot of being caught, but I guess not. Pick that. Or not. That was so PI, but I will take that. I will so take that. <laughs> Cover two, man. Cover three, Cloud. Can we uh, make a tackle? Thank you. You gonna go for it? Or are you gonna punt it? Under smoke. Pick that. Good shit. Oh. Uh, Xavier Woods. Oh, and he quit. Already. All right, that's a W. Yeah, that's way too short. We're gonna go one more. <laughs> Cause I didn't, I didn't get an offensive touchdown that game. But I'll throw that in the W column. We're, we're almost back at a. Uh... Oh, he's texting me now. Hold on, guys. If I wanted to play the CPU, I would have... Hold on. That's... Why... Your... Bitch ass... The NFL on EA Sports brings us to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. <clears throat> this Today, guy's pissed off. NFC the guy that just fucking raged quit, he just started texting me. The Dallas Cowboys taking on the Carolina Panthers. Hey, your connection to the EA service has been lost. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. Oh, we're facing the Cowboys user. He 
EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Ugh. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway right. here in Arlington. This fielded right at the goal line. Cool. And some good special teams coverage. Sorry, guys. I'm a little distracted. This fucking faggot keeps texting me on PlayStation. He's big mad. You know how PlayStation uh, chats go. You got to answer. You got to be, like, super aggressive. <laughs> Start on the ground here. It's Sanders. gonna pick up a block. Okay, good shit, Hayden. Good shit. He gets it up only to about the 17. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play. It's second down. PA boot LT. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there. Fuck, man. Throw the ball. Uh, oh, oh, fuck. He gets this one away. We'll call that a 43 yard punt, two on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Hold on. You literally. Play so Prescott as now with a first the at the thirty nine Ravens and you lost. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Uh, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the forty. A gain of three, second down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback. Ugh, fucking this guy's so annoying. <laughs> okay, we, we gotta stop with the CPU. Prescott now. Fuck. Open man, the tight end Luke Schoonmaker. Oh, he got me. Down the right sideline. Good block left. Start at the 25. Little high roll. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, 
the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he's going to get a good mm -hmm. game of nine here up to the 34. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge. And that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being okay. tackled. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. PA double dig. Play fake, yo. I'm not. I'm gonna stop them from watching. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. I want this, Protection's man. It's certainly gonna need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he'll get about three here up to the 44 yard line. Poco. They need 12 here. It's third down. Throwing. Young. He'll oh, oh, flag, flag, flag. And he's gonna come up yes, sir. Pass short. interference. Let's go, baby. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. A give running left. It's Sanders. Get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Oh, no, I clicked on play. A pretty decent game. This second and four. And now a timeout called by yeah, the Cowboys okay. defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and four. Another run with Sanders. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up. And that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. The play fake. Now Young steps away to his left. And he can't find My God, side. bro. Fuck off. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Fuck. Take a fucking field goal, I guess. Oh. I hate Bryce Young, bro. I hate playing with Bryce. No. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this. Fucking hell! Oh my God. Here we go. Eddie Pinheiro. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away. Sure. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. 
And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's a screen now for okay. the And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller since the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Lamb will go in motion. Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Uh. He's just before the midfield stripe at the 49. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open down. Bro, he how is he side. getting open every time? defensive end out and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50 maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer they'll go with Pollard here on first down they'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down and that was a quality play to start a new set of downs that was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit from the 32-yard line now, here's a second down at six. Now Prescott. Pick that. Oh, my God. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Now Dak, he's going to mix it up. On third down, it's Prescott. Push it, Brian. And he's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, oh, he's going you get for the it. Cover sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Delay game. Oh. Fourth down, Prescott. No fucking way, man. That's complete. How do you let that happen? It's 4th and 20. How the fuck do you let that happen? Oh my god. We're 6 show 2. Touchdown. Prescott to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Prescott. Pollard here once again. Back-to-back -back catches. 
And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Prescott on third and goal. Fuck are you, Mike? Touchdown, Cowboys! Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead here just before. Bullshit, we should have stopped them on fourth and fucking 20. Charles, very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that pushes the lead up to 11. He's in a squib it, probably. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Second and six, just inside the 30. Final play of the half, Young. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. All right, 14 to three at halftime. Woohoo. Yay! Having fun, guys. Ready for the second half. Fourteen to three, our scores. We are back underway on EA Sports. And he's able to get it across the twenty to the twenty-five yard line. Weak blitz one. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half... Oh, my God, man. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and get them more opportunities. Yeah. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. First First down, and it's Pollard again. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? A second down throw for Prescott. I quick hitter here, it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. Man double buzz. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's get in. Oh my god! Cover to man. Prescott looks to throw on first. Wow. I hate this game, man. Oh, I'm shaking. 
first and ten now from the thirty. If I don't score my next drive, I'm probably gonna quit. Pollard, they'll take it up the gun. And okay. through the tackle. I... All right, just nobody tackle him. That's cool. Love that for me. Score here, I'm probably dipping. Can't lie. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Double cross. The Panthers out there and ready okay. to begin their next drive. Young looks to throw on first down. Alright, cool. Alright, bye guys.